Hey, it's Lord Jeff, and today we're playing Smite, and someone told the god that I wanted to play. Well, I wanted to play Poseidon for you guys, but I guess that's not a thing. So, um, I guess, uh, hmm, I guess today I'll be playing, uh, someone fun. I guess I'll play Hunter for you guys. I will play... Um, it's time. I play Hoi. I play Hoi for you guys. I play Ymir. Some sick, nasty things. All right, let's do this. So, as I said in the update video, Smite is a uh, third-person MOBA rather than the rather than the standard top-down perspective like your Dota's or uh, League of Legends. Um, today I'm doing, uh, Joust 3v3, so, you know, you're able to see how pro I am at this game. Um, Hoi is my most played hunter, not because I'm good at him, because I actually think he's just fun with his one, which is his ricochet, and his, basically his bread and butter ability. Um. His passive, I believe, has something to do with his two. Uh, I could be wrong. I have to check that. I'm not sure what his passive is. Um, for those who are familiar with MOBAs, you will understand what's going on and how we are playing the game. Or if you're just familiar with Smite in general. So, yeah. Let's play this GAM. I don't think about it, I even forgot to look at their team. Their team is Fenrir, Scylla, and Xing Xian. Um, that's gonna be a problem. Because once Fenrir holds us, it's pretty much over. Ain't that right, Poseidon? Ah, yes, hello. Anyway. Hmm, okay. So I start off with Death Toll and Short Bow. Short Bow gives me attack speed. Very minor attack speed, but attack speed nonetheless. My passive is I have a dealing critical hit. Oh, he can't be. He can't take critical hits. Because he came in so early, I didn't even get down the line of my ricochet. Anyway. Right now we're just clearing buffs. That's basically what 3v3 is. The beginning of the game, you clear buffs. What? It took me a little while to... Oh jeez, he is a... Uh, quite the dead guy. Yeah, she dipped real fast. I'm gonna pop both my health and mana pods here. I'm gonna need it. Get my jump. My jump is one of my most important abilities in this fight in general. He's probably gonna jump on us soon. Figured. I hit him. Um, Ricochet, his ability Ricochet, um, is basically just a shot. It can ricochet off of walls. Yeah, like that. I don't want to die for that. Oh. He got his too. That means he can heal. I also miss my ricochet on the Scylla. If I hit that, she would have died. Anyway, I'll back off this. Um, I just got my ultimate as well, so that's a plus for me. What my ultimate is, I dropped, what is it, 9 suns? It's 9 suns, is it? 
plus six, no, six suns. You draw six suns, they do 80 damage each. And a max level will do 120 for a duration of 4.5 seconds each. So, if they have my marker to crow on them, they are slowed. The thing gen has an ult, so I gotta be careful for that. I'll jump away just in case. He might have been feeling some type of way. That's where she would walk forward. I might jump up again, so. Just made it out of that one. I want to trap Finrear with my ult. This one is gonna be a gonna be a weird fight. Cause none of us really wanna push forward. At least not aggressively. That did a lot of damage there. Finner's probably gonna jump on one of us okay. soon. I hesitated to jump back down just in case he ulted. In about a hundred gold, I'm going for max boots. So I'm gonna get my boots now. Get rip. Oh, he's fine. Get all the. You didn't know. I have my ultimate 25 seconds. I don't think they can push our tower, especially with Ymir just babysitting it like that. And Hoi is a very late game guard. That was a good play in Ymir's part. I'm not gonna be building stacks this game. I am gonna focus on. She, wait a minute. I think Jen doesn't have. Actually, I do a lot of damage to Scylla. Will you grab me out of it? That's no good. I wasn't expecting to jump up there like that. My next item right now is gonna be. I don't even pen. I don't really need a pen that much right now. And that was actually an unfortunate death on my part. All right, let's see. What, let's see what we can do now. Someone's calling me Jesus Christ. Jesus and Rice. When the curls on them, I get a little bit more penetration on them. I mean, I don't have to buy too much penetration to actually do damage. Yes, we can. I'm a monster. 
They got away. No good. I am doing the most damage to the team though. I'm gonna need a lot more attack speed to actually do damage. I can't finish this yet. Actually, if I back now, I'll just do one more wave. Nah, I'll just go buy my finish leader. You see that? That's gonna try to attack me. I think this is the coolest jump in the game. Look at that. Whoosh! his out. It's done there. That's well played on all of our parts. Um, if you're not clear what happened there, um, you may have put up this wall blocking him from running from Poseidon's ult, but I used my one and it ricocheted off Ymir's wall and double tapped him, so I got the kill for it instead of Poseidon, which is not cool, but it happened. Yeah, I do significant amounts of damage here. Um, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do for this build right now, I am, uh, I'm probably gonna get uh, executioner for us bound and rate. That's rage, I guess. I don't really need uh, the other one. I like if I'll get a purple buff right now. Hoi. Another thing about Hoi is he has amazing buff clear. Once you know how to do it, the guy's doing it. Easy! Easy! That wasn't easy, that was lucky. <laughs> that was lucky as hell. Jesus. Alright, I don't want to build from here on. I think I'll go into my frostbound hammer. Frostbound hammer is going to give me a lot of health. Then my last time is gonna be a uh, rage. Already have enough attack speed for this build at least.
we're just watching the side just in case Ying Chen try to pop his ugly head out. Just Ying Chen. Like, I don't think. Oh boy. I do a lot of damage. I was a misstep. I jump right in time. I say my damage is actually insane right now, and he has to jump away to actually do anything. Frostbound hammer in my last item is gonna be reach. Or I can do something else crazy. Yeah, my last item is definitely gonna be rage. I'm gonna be it just in case. On a health bot and a multi bot. It's gonna help me sustain myself more in the fight. Rip. Oh, we lagged out. That's no good. Oh my god, that's the greatest stuff of all time. Oh my god. How did she get the kill? Retreat. I'm trying to change my mind. And I just might get haste in for Talus. Because that way I'll be able to keep up with them. Haste in for Talus is more damage, but it's just slightly more attack speed. And that'll actually be great for me. My damage is actually fine. Come to look at it. I have a lot of penetration. And the attack speed is gonna help a lot more. So I will uh get the U2. So once I hit them, I'm pretty much stuck on them. Yeah, my attack speed is pretty fantastic.
Does she have smart cool down? She doesn't even have smart cool down. How does she have it up so quickly? I need to get max speed so you do actually, to actually fight these guys. They do a lot of damage. Like, I don't expect all these stuns like that. I think it's mostly me getting really aggressive because I'm used to playing Hoi 1v1 rather than the 3v3 format or even in Conquest really. I enjoy Hoi better in Conquest because there are a lot more walls and I'm pretty much focused on two targets rather than the three. And the two targets I'm focused on are mostly the Hunter. Right now we do an immense amount of damage and Zing Chen cannot fight me. If Zing Chen can't fight me, I do 139 damage him per hit. Yeah, after I got his Vitalis, they definitely couldn't catch me after a while, and I did a lot of damage. I did a lot of damage, because Xing Zhen didn't build any real defenses. I, I would basically almost doing true damage to everyone. Alright, let's look at these stats real quick. I did 20, basically 29,000 damage compared to everyone else's. So yeah, it's been a lord jet and uh, bye.